You may be seated. Good evening and welcome to the celebration of achievements of the class of 2023. This is a day that so many of you, students, parents, teachers, and administrators, have worked so hard to achieve. Today we honor 273 graduates. This class, this class of 2023 has earned scholarships totaling almost $4.1 million. There are 52 honor graduates in this class. Many of you have accepted scholarships in band, choir, art, cheer, dance, and athletics, as well as other competitive teams. Others have decided to serve our country in the military, attend a vocational school, or possibly start the workforce very soon. The class of 2023 has accumulated 8,985.8 hours of community service, with 30 students of this class accumulating 75 or more hours. 28 community service credits have been achieved by the class of 2023. To all of you students who have earned scholarships and have earned honors, it makes my heart proud to witness your hard work, your dedication, and everything that you've put into that has paid off. There were times that you've really had to make some hard choices whether or not to hang out with your friends or go check out the new release on Hulu, but you chose to focus on your studies. Those positive choices result in positive results, and we congratulate you and celebrate you tonight. If I were to sit down at this point, it would be a disservice to the class of 2023 because I would not be telling the whole story. You see, we have 273 celebrations tonight. And success looks different through every journey and every story. To the students out there who are the first family members to walk across this stage and get a high school diploma, tonight we celebrate you. <laughs> to the students, who had to work every day after school and on weekends just to help ends meet at home and still found time to do your studies. Man, we celebrate you tonight. <laughs> to the students out there with learning difficulties, your grit, your determination, your work ethic has paid off. Look where you're sitting tonight. We celebrate you. Some of our students became parents along the way and had to balance parenthood, school, and work. It would have been so easy to drop out of school, but you persevered all through, although many mornings you showed up at school after being up all night with a baby. We celebrate this accomplish, accomplishment tonight with you. <laughs> to the students who felt invisible and unnoticed, who came to school every day and felt comfortable blending into the background instead of being out front, but day after day, you did the right thing. I want to tell you tonight, you were noticed. And you are noticed tonight, and we celebrate you guys tonight as well. <laughs> to the students who had to make much of this journey on your own with little or no support, 
but you never gave up. Your perseverance has paid off, and tonight we celebrate your journey. <laughs> to, to the students have, who have overcome physical, mental, emotional struggles who have hindered, which have hindered your academic process at some point along the way, you've overcome that struggle tonight, and we celebrate you. <laughs> to those To those who have been told by someone at some point in your life that you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, and you'll never make it through school, tell them to look at where you're sitting right now. You are minutes, you are minutes away from getting that diploma, and we celebrate you tonight. To those of you who have stories that we're unable to share from this podium. You never gave up. You did not let those challenges and barriers stop you from reaching your goal. And we are so, so proud and we celebrate all of you tonight. So when we say we're here to celebrate the accomplishments of all these students, you see all accomplishments look different. The journeys look different. The stories look different. But this one thing I know, all 273 of you ended your journey here tonight, just minutes away from being the 2023 graduating class of Sheridan High School. For that, for that perseverance, dedication, and commitment, we applaud you, congratulate you, and celebrate you, and I am so, so proud of you. <laughs> to make this day as special for these seniors and their uh, families, we do have just a few reminders. We ask if you demonstrate your respect for the entire class by remaining until the end of the ceremony. Please take a moment to turn off your cell phones to place them on silent and professional pictures will be taken as each graduate receives their diploma here in a few minutes. Tonight's welcome will be given by Brady Ingram, senior class president. Afterwards, the invocation will be delivered by Grayson Allen, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance and the playing of the national anthem. Thank you. Good evening, students, faculty, family, and friends. Welcome to the 2023 Sheridan High School graduation. My name is Brady Ingram, student council and senior class president. It is an honor and a privilege to be standing here today in front of my fellow classmates. I am blessed to have I am blessed to have the opportunity to get to know so many of you and to build so many close relationships that I will treasure forever. This class is filled with many talented students in a variety of areas. We have scholars, athletes, artists, state champs, and musicians. This is such an amazing class of people who will go out into the world and accomplish great things. As you sit here tonight, take in this moment and enjoy it. We have all looked forward to tonight, and soon you will all officially be high school graduates. No matter what your future holds, whether that includes college, the military, workforce, remember that you will always be a Sheridan Yellow Jacket. Thank you. At this time, I ask you please stand for the invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance in the pledging of our national anthem by the Sheridan High School Band. Please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, today we want to lift you up and honor your name. We wish to thank you for this day where we can come together as a community to recognize the hard work, perseverance, and accomplishments of this graduating class. 
Thank you for blessing us through our lives, and we pray for your continuing guidance for our future. I ask that you bless this class and our families so that we may have your hand to help us through the days to come so we may, that we may glorify you. I hope that you will be with this class and give us opportunities to thrive long after the last of the celebrations. Please show us your glory and be with us today through the proceedings so that those who do not truly see you may come and recognize you for who you are. All glory, honor, and to you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please remove your hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. I am humbled by the opportunity to stand here again before you this evening. I want to begin by saying thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With that is grace and mercy, I know none of us would be here tonight. I would also like to thank my family, who has always been there for me. To my mom, who always guides me and leads me to the best I can be. To my dad, who always is there for me and supports me through everything. And to my brother, Logan, who is the best role model I could look to up to. Throughout high school, I've been extremely blessed. It is truly an honor to be graduating as a Sheridan Yellow Jacket, and even more of an honor to be graduating with such a great class of students. While I'm thankful to be a part of this group, I haven't always been a Sheridan Yellow Jacket. When I was in the fourth grade, we moved here from Heber Springs. When I was in fourth grade, or I had to leave behind friends, teammates, and a neighborhood that I love. At that time, I did not think it was a good decision. I didn't know anyone. Everything in Sheridan closed at eight, and the only thing to eat was Mexican restaurants and pizza places, so. It wasn't until my fourth grade class when I met my new teacher, Miss Kendi, that I began to adapt to my new situation. In our class, we had a re weekly journal that we would write in, and I would often write about how much I missed Heber Springs. I even wrote letters HS on all my classwork to show how much I missed Heber. When I'd get my journal back each week, Miss Kennedy always responded to my journal with words of encouragement and positivity. Her kindness and understanding helped me get through the difficult transition from Heber to Sheridan. Ms. Kendi opened me to the new possibilities that awaited me in my new home. As I made new friends and met new people, this town began to grow on me. The Sheridan community welcomed me and my family and gave us a new home. This community is something special. It's a very close community with overwhelming support. I never thought that I would call another place home, but I'm proud to say that Sheridan is my home. I thank God every day for allowing me to become a Sheridan Yellow Jacket and given me so many opportunities to grow and better myself. My fellow graduates of the class of 2023, 
as you all go out into the world and travel different paths of life, it is important to always remember that there will be difficult decisions and tough journeys ahead. It will be hard, and you will have many moments of doubt. This is why it is so important to always be that person of encouragement to someone's life. Just like Miss Kendi was for me, be that encouragement for others. We never know truly the struggles that others are facing, but your words can have such a huge impact in someone's life. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Be that positive person in someone's life, and it can truly change them. You, the teachers, the members of the audience, and this community, and countless others have all impacted and changed my life. I am forever grateful for this town, school, and community. Sheridan will always hold a special place in my heart, and I will forever be a Sheridan Yellow Jacket. Thank you. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, board members, and of course, class of 2023. I am very blessed to have the opportunity to speak to you all tonight. Fellow graduates, we've been told that life is like a box of chocolates, but I disagree. Life is like a series of scrapbooks, all full of blank pages waiting to be filled. For the past 13 years, we've looked forward to this day but how many of us have stopped to notice how far we've come? These years have been filled with laughter, sorrow, stress, and excitement. Looking back, I have realized just how much of a journey we've all had together. We've created a scrapbook, and today we fill the last page. Although we may not have noticed it, we started this book the first day we all walked into elementary school. Since then, we as a class have filled its pages to its limits. Our scrapbook is filled with the moments of waiting to see our parents after the first day of school to tell them all about everything that happened. It's filled with the eager moments of waiting to go get a new picture book from Ms. Good's library and later getting our first chapter books from Ms. Casey. And here we are now, turning the pages in our own book. We filled our scrapbook with the times we ate our lunch as fast as we could so that maybe we could get the first pick of the swings on the playground. It's filled with the friendly competitions of who could skip the most monkey bars, which usually ended with somebody face planting in the rocks. Oh, what a time it was. <laughs> our scrapbook expanded as we moved into intermediate school. Pages again started to fill. With the lunchroom excitement of getting a green dot in the center of your table, walking into the gym and seeing yoga balls and drumsticks, and most of all, racing to the new playground equipment. I'll never forget the disappointment on April Fool's Day when Miss Mooney told us it wouldn't be open for another month. Then we were off to bigger and better things. Our scrapbook kept expanding. It filled with the anxiety and excitement of combining with the East End students and having to learn our way through a new school an entire page just for the new friendships that were made that year. It was like starting at the beginning all over again. We filled pages with the joy of no longer having to walk the green line in the hallway or being told where to sit at lunch. We were big kids now. And just when we thought we were all grown up, we moved on to high school. All those years, we looked up to the big kids in sports and arts. Now, we're the ones the kids in our district look up to. We filled our book with many Friday night lights, blue crew moments, pep rally games, and most of all, excellence. What once began empty has slowly become a book filled with many great memories and great people. The students, the teachers, the family, and the friends. Each of which have an, had an impact on our 13 years as students. They've contributed to our pages with wisdom to enjoy every moment of our lives and with encouragement to push ourselves to be the best that we can be. Our scrapbook is also filled with hardships, the stress and struggles that come with schoolwork, 
the uncertainty of COVID, and even the loss of family and friends. But these are the times that prepare us for the world that we're stepping into once we cross this stage. And although we don't know what our next scrapbook will contain, I believe that the past 13 years will be the reason that we all succeed in our own ways. We've all contributed to the scrapbook in many different ways. And now that our scrapbook has come to a close, it's time to go out and make our own scrapbooks. I wish the best for everyone here tonight, and I thank you all for the great memories. I will forever look back at our book and remember that no matter where we all go, we are forever Yellow Jackets. Congratulations, class of 2023. Our scrapbook is complete. Good evening, my name is Lainey Ray. Welcome respected friends, family, faculty, and fellow peers. On behalf of the graduating class of 2023, thank you for joining us here on such an auspicious occasion. A long time ago, God used a man, a prophet named Isaiah. This man wrote, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10. I chose this verse because it symbolizes strength in difficult times. And high school is by no means a musical or Disney movie. Looking out at the people I've grown up with, I can confidently say, I see the strength in all of you. This evening, sitting here in these droopy drapes is a testament and reminder to your perseverance and accomplishments. It is because of this endurance that you will succeed, success that you will attain according to your own definition, not that of others. There will be people who do not understand your journey or motivations. And that is okay. It is not their journey to make sense of. It's yours. Have faith and trust God. He will lead you exactly where you need to be. It is often said that real life begins after high school, but this could not be further from the truth. In certain ways, high school can be equated to boot camp for adulthood. It is here where we make mistakes and have the opportunity to learn from them. The most prominent mistake I have learned from, and I'm still learning from honestly, is that perfectionism does not determine your self-worth. For my fellow perfectionists, ACT scores and GPA does not define your intelligence. The opinions of others does not dictate who you are as a person. Self-worth is the steadfast beliefs that you hold closest and what you know yourself to be capable of, not social or academic prowess. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by our Creator. Thus, you are worthy and you are prepared for all He has planned for you. Inevitability is like one of Ms. Gartman's classes. A lesson taught one day, followed by a test the next day. You just know what's gonna happen. Similarly, it was inevitable that our time together would come to an end. But just because it is an end does not mean it cannot be the start of something wonderful. Closing one chapter and beginning another is often bittersweet. But that is why we have memories in order to reminisce on the fun times and be thankful we no longer have to tolerate the bad. It is these memories that we will reflect on when we are gray and old, thinking back to the good old days or the thank goodness I'm out of their days. Regardless to which category you can relate to, we would not be who we are today without these memories and experiences. 
from the wise words of Winnie the Pooh, how lucky am I to have had something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you. Hello, I'm John Eckert, and I'm going to read a speech for you. It is a great honor to have to be able to speak here tonight. Every one of the students, families, and teachers present here tonight have made such an impact on the graduates who sit here. So guys, we did it. Thirteen years of hard work, laughter, hurt, and triumph have led up to this very moment in this space. Take a moment to appreciate that. Not only have you survived massive vocabulary tests, Remo's stress writing, an entire pandemic, and even math with letters in it, you have lived through it. I am proud to say that this graduating class did not let these last years escape us. I mean, who could have forgotten about a certain green alien on the football field? We have had fun in class and out of class, but we've also grown in ourselves too. I urge you all not to let that growth go to waste. The rest of your life is ahead of you. Now the rest of your life is going to look a lot different from anyone else's here. We all have dreams, and I can guarantee you that every single one of them is different in some way. Some of us are going to college close to home or far away. Some are going straight into the workforce. Others have chosen to serve this nation in the armed forces. No matter where your future is pointing, there's a dream for it. We've always been told to dream big and that dream will come to fruition. But here's the thing, a dream is just that, a dream. A dream won't ever truly satisfy you by itself. That's why we can't let a dream stay a dream. It can become so much more as a reality. Actor Tim Curry put it this way, don't dream it, be it. Think of it then, think of it like this. When you dream, what are you doing? Usually you're sleeping, and honestly, it's pretty hard to get anything done while you're asleep. If we want to get anything done, we've got to wake up and get going. Hard work and planning leads to success, but just talking won't get you anywhere by itself. But be warned, you will not achieve your dreams immediately. You are going to fail. There is no doubt about it, and honestly, that's a good thing. What matters is not the failure, but how you get back up afterwards. There will be seasons of waiting, seasons where you wonder if you might have just hit a dead end. Be patient. The great philosopher Mick Jagger said it the best. You can't always get what you want, honey. Oftentimes, you have to wait for the best things in life. You don't put all of the ingredients in a cake in the oven, close the door, take it right back out, and then complain about how it tastes. No! You have to wait for it to bake. And as it does, those ingredients that might not have tasted so good by themselves at, at first begin to combine themselves into something so much greater than itself. In these next few years, you will probably find yourselves waiting for something. So often, we get caught in the trap of thinking that our lives will truly begin when we get out of college or when we have a six-figure income or maybe when we have a home of our own. We get ourselves so focused on the future that we forget about what's going on in the present. Work hard to achieve your dreams, yes, but never stop enjoying yourself in the everyday. Take time to have fun and build relationships new and old. I think the most impactful moments in our lives aren't necessarily the big life-changing ones, but all the little things that grow up into something bigger over time. You all have your own dreams that will shine differently. Don't you dare let anyone define what that dream is going to be for you. This is your life, no one else's. You are the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. But don't live a self-centered life. Try and find ways that you can be a part of something bigger, more important than just yourself. After all, in the end, your legacy is not how much money you left behind or how big a house you had. It's how you influence people, good or bad, 
big or small. Make those influences good ones. Build strong relationships that you can be proud of. And remember, don't dream it, be it. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Carla Nethery. I'm honored to serve as superintendent of the Sheridan School District. I wanna take a moment to thank our dedicated faculty and staff who have placed their efforts, hard work, and focus on providing a quality education for all of these outstanding students. And they truly are an incredible group of students, not just academically, but in their maturity in their character and leadership skills. And of course, none of this would be possible without the support of our families and our community patrons. We appreciate all of you who make the Sheridan School District one of the best. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Jody Spann, who serves as president of the Sheridan School Board. The members of the school board had a very difficult task of reviewing all of the outstanding applications for Sheridan School Board scholarships and narrowing their selections to seven recipients. Mr. Spann and the other board members will present the school board scholarships now. It is now our honor to present the Sheridan School Board Scholarships. <clears throat> These awards come with a $1,000 scholarship that follows the graduate to their chosen institution in the fall. I'll ask each recipient to walk to the stage to have your picture taken after your name is announced. <clears throat> our first recipient is an extremely intelligent young man graduating with a top grade point average in his class of 4.2. 4.42, excuse me. He is an Arkansas Governor's Distinguished Scholar, a recipient of a Chancellor Scholarship to the University of Arkansas. <clears throat> he is a star member of the Yellow Jacket Wrestling Team, where he has received all state recognition each of the past three years. He advanced to the state championship match this year and finished his runner up in the 175 pound division in the Class 5A. A model for sportsmanship, he won the Class 5A Victory with Honor Wrestling Award. He has been no <clears throat> nominated for the Jetway Guitarist of the Year Award four times. He is a member of the National Honor Society and volunteers for a variety of activities with his church. Karen Burnett, who is the head of the Science Department at Sheridan High School, said this student is the type of person who understands responsibility and what it takes to get the job done and it isn't afraid to take on the tasks that are required to complete the job. Please join me in congratulating Josh Hanloser. Our next recipient is also extremely bright, scoring a 34 on his ACT, and is one of the very top students in the Sheridan School District. A Governor's Distinguished Scholar, he is also the recipient of a Tier 4 Academic Scholarship and Advanced Scholar Stipend to Arkansas Tech University. He is Captain of the Yellow Jacket Boys Soccer Team, Vice President of FBLA, and has won All Region First Band Percussionist Honors the past four years. Additionally, he has participated in student council, cross country, and track. He is active in his church and his community. Math teacher Dana Morton says this individual is a wonderful young man with high moral values such as honesty, integrity, and dependability. SHS band director Greg, 
Greg Scott calls this student an incredible charismatic leader who is always putting others' needs in front of his own. Please help me congratulate Grayson Allen. Our next recipient has a goal we can all admire. After college, she wants to return to her hometown and be an elementary education teacher in the Sheridan School District. She has worked hard throughout her high school to prepare for her chosen career path. She has been involved with the Educators Rising program through which she and a partner recently won first place in a statewide competition for pre-K children's literature. She is in the National Honor Society, Students for Christ, and is a member of the Lady Yellow Jacket soccer team. She also holds a leadership position with the Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. Science teacher Karen Burnett says this student has a natural curiosity that causes her to look deeper into the subject and to learn more than just the surface information. Ms. Burnett says this student's finished pro products on projects always are above her expectations. In the fall, she'll attend Arkansas State University on a Chancellor's Scholarship. Please join me in congratulating Kennedy Hobson. This next graduate demonstrates a unique blend of academic excellence, common sense, and servant leadership. He carries a 4.2 grade point average and has scored a 32 on his ACT. A governor's distinguished scholar, he was captain of the SHS quiz bell team, a member of student council, a class officer, and a National Honor Society officer. This student is an active member of his church's youth group and raised the necessary funds to travel to the African country of Zanzibar during the summer on a mission trip to provide critical humanitarian services to the local population. SHS JROTC instructor Lieutenant Colonel Clark Easter says that this student is one of those rare individuals with academic proudness and the common sense to apply the knowledge wisely and beneficially for society. In his scholarship application, this graduate wrote that he plans to pursue an education in medicine or other science to help communities in need. He will attend the University of Arkansas on a merit-based scholarship. Please help me congratulate John Eckert. Our next recipient's class rank is near the top, which is quite an accomplishment considering the number of activities with which he is involved. This student has been a member of the Yellow Jacket football and baseball teams and is an Eagle Scout who has accumulated more than 300 community service hours. He's a member of FBLA, FCA, and National Honor Society, just to name a few of the clubs and organizations in which he's active. He is involved in church youth groups and works multiple part-time jobs after school and during the summers. An aspiring electrical engineer, he plans to attend Arkansas State University on a chancellor scholarship. Former SHS principal Betty Cook said this student has all the character traits we want to see in our young people as they become young adults. Honesty, kindness, compassion, dedication to the task at hand, and a desire to be the best he can be. Please join me in congratulating Addison Savage.
Our next recipient has honed his leadership skills through his heavy involvement with the Sheridan JROTC program, where he has been serving in leadership positions for multiple years. In 2023, he attained the JROTC rank of major and has been the battalion company commander and drill team captain. In 2022, he placed second statewide in the 4-H trap shoot and serves as the 4-H shooting sports club president. He's the tuba section leader in the Yellow Jacket Band and won all state honors in 2023. Other activities include National Honor Society and Student Council. SHS Band Director Greg Scott says this student is a great motivator and role model and that his classmates respect him and realize he has the best interest at heart. In the fall, he'll attend Arkansas Tech University on both an academic and music scholarship. Please help me congratulate Mr. Jesse Wells. Despite the tra tragic loss of her father earlier in her high school years, our next recipient responded like a true champion with resilience. Demonstrating remarkable academic and personal growth over the past year, in her scholarship application, she wrote that, the following, that following that event, she became very involved in soccer, a sport she had played for years, but suddenly felt a growing passion. She wrote, I learned that I have a love for team building and working with others to achieve a common goal. As a senior, she was voted one of the captains for the Lady Yellow Jackets soccer team. She's also been a member of the FCCLA, and in her spare time, she coaches an under 12 soccer team twice a week in addition to other volunteer activities. In the classroom, she has an above 4.0 GPA. SHS English teacher Beth Vaccaro says, the student is highly motivated, ambitious, and hardworking and that she has always been a positive force in the classroom, inspiring and supporting her peers to achieve their best. In the fall, she will attend my alma mater, the University of Central Arkansas, on an achievement scholarship. Please help me honor Vivian Phillips. Okay, now it is with great honor that I present to you the 2023 recipients of the A.R. McKenzie Award, a tradition that has been part of the Sheridan High School graduation ceremony for decades. It is an award named in honor of longtime former Sheridan Superintendent, Mr. A.R. McKenzie, and comes with a $1,500 scholarship. Tonight, we have two recipients of the highest caliber. Our first recipient of the 2023 A.R. McKenzie Award is truly an outstanding leader, servant and student, a person with strong moral compass. He does, well, just about everything. In addition to a 4.1 grade point average, he is captain of the Yellow Jacket football team, a top contributor on the basketball team, president of student council, senior class president, and an active member of National Honor Society and Student Voice. He volunteers with Sheridan's Pee Wee basketball program and has served as a camp counselor for the school's football and basketball camps for youth. Last year, he won the landmark Missionary Baptist Church Youth Group Leadership Award. He enjoys audio visual work and many of his sports graphics 
have been used on the school's and athletic department social media accounts. Sheridan Mayor Kane Knighton, who previously led the youth program at First Landmark Baptist Church, said, this student is a very active participant in all student activities. Knighton said this student contributed insightfully and always took the group's discussion to another level, but he remained supportive and always listened thoughtfully to the contributions of his peers. Natton emphatically states that this student will be famous someday. And I do hope he remembers me because I will remember him. In the fall, he will attend Arkansas State University on a Chancellor Scholarship and a License to Howl Scholarship. He plans to major in Business and Finance. Congratulations, Brady Ingram. You can add the A.R. McKenzie Award to your list of accomplishments. Our final recipient of the evening is one who seems to excel at whatever task she takes on. She is a model student in the classroom with a 4.17 grade point, but that doesn't begin to tell the whole story. She is an active in National Honor Society and a variety of other clubs and organizations. In the community, she volunteers time visiting local nursing home residents and offers companionship to those who need it. During the holidays, she's active with Angel Tree and food drives because she has a heart for others. Sheridan High School principal, Dr. Blaine Alexander said, as a leader in our school, she is perceived as a student who other students and adults can count on for support when needed. She hopes to one day work in pediatrics. This student wrote that she loves math and science, but most of all, she loves caring for children. And then there's what she does as an athlete. This student doesn't just play volleyball. She's all conference in volleyball. In track, she's all conference in long jump and triple jump and discus. Some days you might find her running sprints or hurdles or relays or competing in the heptathlon. But it's the pole vault where she really shines. She's not just one of the best in class 5A, she is unquestionably the best. This student won the state outdoor pole vault championship three consecutive years and also won the indoor pole vault title twice. And she always gives back along the way, helping coach younger athletes. She plans to attend the University of Texas, Arlington, on both a pole vault athletic scholarship and Maverick academic scholarship. It is my honor to present Sophie Allen with the A.R. McKenzie Award. As we begin awarding the diplomas, members of the family and special friends are invited to stand while their graduate receives the diploma. Please remember that this is a formal ceremony and in order to make this a very special occasion for each of our graduates, we ask that you refrain from any excessive noise, yeah right, that distracts from each graduate's moment. 
At this time, I would like to present the Sheridan High School class of 23, 2023 candidates for graduation. The president of the Sheridan School Board, Mr. Jody Spann, and other board members will now present the diplomas. Distinguished Honor Graduates, Joshua Michael Handlozier. John Grayson Allen. William Cole Sullivan. Laney Caitlin Ray. <laughs> Joanna Rose Wise. Addison Michael Savage. <laughs> Kayla Yin. <laughs> Brady Owen Buchanan. Aaron Elizabeth Summit. Patrick Marcus Gentry. Kelsey Dawn Riemann. Anna Lane Harris. Sophia Nicole Allen. John Richard Eckert. Aaron Brooks Webb. Randy Scarborough. Owen Thomas Reynolds. Vivian Grace Phillips. Madeline Ray Lewis.
Lauren Alexandra Irons. Brady Cole Ingram. Brooklyn Renee Rowe. Kennedy Nicole Hobson. Caitlin Marie Horton. Gracie Lynn Owens. Olivia Faith Reeves. Hillary Blair Williams. Jackson Ronald Dowler. Kaylee Ann Howard. High Honor Graduates, Cohen Mitchell Bernard. Justin Kennedy Stockton. Jackson Pete Riley. Landon Spence Kaiser. Jonah Mikkel Williams. Delani Diane Day. Caroline Megan Mitchell. Sashiana Sashia Vang. Ilya Rose Williams. Adriana Jesusa Ruiz. Honor graduates, Lily Pearl McPherson. Kyler Bryce Morrow. Lillian Michelle Bowen. Rayleigh Cheyenne Natten. Wyatt Montana Teague.
Ansley Nicole Kendall. Nathan Thomas Gillum. Jesse Austin Wells. Alexander Fook Pham. Kylie Elizabeth Witte. Kelly Ann Taylor. Audrey Jean Hendricks. Graduates, Liliana Jasmine Trujillo Adams. Mildred Areli Aguilar. Andrew Archer Allison. Adam Michael Anderson. Connor Caleb Anderson. William Austin Anderton. Jarrett Lane Atchley. James Gavin Avance. Lucy Claire Banks. Trenton Michael Barnwell. Dakota Wayne Beatty. Harold Edward Bennett. Madison Elaine Bond. Emma Ray Elizabeth Bookout. Haley Jane Bradford. Brooklyn Nicole Bradshaw. Cameron Lankford Brakebill. Cameron Allen Brantley. Austin Lee Brewer. Caleb Allen Brock. Alexis R. Bumgardner. Nevea Dawn Katie. Allie Caldwell. Sloan Elizabeth Caldwell. Callie Grace Camp. Devin Stephen Cannon. Carly Renee Lynn Cash. Keaton Marshall Allen Castile. Jacob Matthew Shadowin. Caleb James Cleveland. Wyatt Allen Klingen. Emma Grace Collins. Jade M. Condry. Ryan Vance Corley. Jacob Cole Cotton. Justin Lloyd Cruz. Matthew Gunner Kreitz. 
Hannah Nicole Crosby. Caden Lane Crow. Brandon Luke Cunningham. Xander Price Dalton. Joshua Cohen Davidson. Alex Lloyd Davis. Brianna Renee Davis. Warren Alton Davis. Caroline Grace Dawson. Alex Gage Denham. Allie Renee Dennis. Roberta Joan Dutcher. Hannah Grace Duvall. Brady Cole Edwards. Clayton Taylor Edwards. Jesus Antonio Elias. Michael A. Elliott. Lauren Holly Ellison. Carly Nicole Farrer. Landon Ty Feemster. Hunter Alexandris Fernandez. Harley May Fisher. Gage Frank. Gavin David Frank. Mark Claret Franklin. Peyton Jacob Free. Autumn Brianne Fuel. Ariel Ann Geiger. Jesse Donald Gellin. Caroline Rebecca Gibbs. Ryan J. Gifford. Hannah Mackenzie Gilbert. Jacoby Ray Gillette. Landon Anthony David Glover. Barbara Riley Goodson. Anna Celeste Goodwin. Grayson Slade Graves. Emerson D. Green. Luke Tyler Griffith. Egan Olin Gunter. Rain Hamrick. Skyler Austin Harlan. Drew Daniel Harris. Gabriel Paul Hurd. Madison Ladon Elizabeth Henderson. Bethany Grace Henson. Bethany Grace Herndon. Carissa Rose Harrington. Jessica Marie Hicks. Kylie Grace Holcomb. John Cole Holloman. William David Holliday. 
Skyler Grace Holland. Joshua Clayton Hollinger. Kylie Elizabeth Howard. Liliana Rosa Ibera. Kyle David Ibbotson. Waylon Clyde Engel. Jaden Cornell Jenkins. Amaya Danielle Johnson. Nathaniel Sean Johnson. Jordan Ryan Kelly. Braden Andrew King. Gabriel Martin Kootenkuller. Hunter Wayne Lackey. Alyssa Rain Lake. Matthew Bryce Landers. Cadence Aubrey Levens. Amanda S. Lee. Jenna Marie Lee. Aubrey Renee Leffel. Olivia Rose Llewellyn. Julie Liu. Jaden Lintner. Hillary Alexis Long. Clayton Ray Lott Jr. Tyler James Lyle. Carly Addison Mangrum. Tamara Amaya Marshall. Gabriella Elizabeth Martinez. Corbin Mitchell Mason. Alex Scott Matthews. Bronson Scott May. Kaylee Anna McLean. Jordan Taylor McDaniel. Alexis Cheyenne McDonald. Draco Armand McDonald. Brody Zane McElroy. Carly Grace McGarity. Emily Marie McKinney. John Martin McKinney. Samantha Lynn Meeks Warner. Kirsten B. Milam. Hannah Page Miller. Zoe Elizabeth Mitchell. Braxton Allen Moffitt. Jersey Ann Scarlett Mogg. Ivan Isaac Mogel. Micah Ray Mooney. Michaela Renee Moore. Macy Page Morrow. Harrison James Moss. David Owen Myers. Nathaniel S. Nantarangsi. Daniel James Nelson. 
Justin Lee Nichols. Emily Jane No. Chase Lee Odin. Zachary Ryan Odom. Stephen Ray Owens. Emily Grace Page. Bethany Ann Marie Parker. Haley Nicole Parrish. Ethan Michael Peacock. Braley Michelle Peel. James Anthony Peel. Ashley Rose Pennington. Samuel Carrick Peppers. Raven Malaysia Phillips. Megan Pastolka. Nicholas Jerry Pierfoy. Kirsten Olivia Ramick. Aaron William Reynolds. Dylan Marie Rhodes. Anna Marie Rice. Mallory Ann Risch. Hunter Lee Rivera. Brittany Renee Nicole Roberts. Brittany May Lee Roberts. Preston Rotzel. Jackson Kyle Rogers. Jalen Denise Rose. Cameron Grace Rosto. Cademan Gregory Ross. Braden Jackson Rowland. Reagan Marie Scott. Hannah Abigail Shu. Wesley Blaine Shoemate. Connor Dale Smith. Skyler Lee Smith. Sophia Yarmila Smith. Jake Walton Snyder. Kaylin Nicole Snyder. Haley Nicole Solano. Olivia Rita Alexis Solano. Olivia Cheyenne Standridge. Connor Allen Stanton. Alyssa Nicole Stark. Molly Mae Stuttered. Michelle Lynn Tarvin. Vegas Elise Taunton. Macy Renee Taylor. Ava Grace Teague. Jackson Noah Teague. Brianna Lynn Thiel. Kaylee Marie Thomas. Ethan Hunter Thompson. Mandy K. Trickle. Serenity Faye Trussell. 
Casey Fuchi Vang. Mason Van Landingham. Philip Lamar Vasquez. Harley Joe Wagner. Dustin Waller. Jason Thomas Ward. Samuel Lee Ward. Jonathan T. Warwick. Julianne Rivers Wells. Madeline Wheat. Isaiah Kiera Nicole Whitaker. Braden Allen Williams. Christopher Braden Williams. Riley Elizabeth Williams. Waylon Bryce Williams. Corey J. Winfrey. Jeffrey Brian Winkler, Jr. Jacob Cole Worth. Christopher Gage Yelton. It is my honor, based on the recommendation of the faculty, staff, and administration of Sheridan High School, to confirm the graduates of the class of 2023. Congratulations. Graduates, please stand. <laughs> As a symbolic gesture of your completion of high school, class of 2023 graduates, you may now turn your tassels from right to left. I would like to start by sharing these words of faith with the graduating class of 2023. Deuteronomy 31.6, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight to thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. 
We give thanks to you for all the blessings in the future. We trust in the past and plans you have for us. Thank you, Lord, for providing a community that lifts us up and cares for each of us. Tonight, we say a prayer for each and every senior here. We give thanks for this beautiful graduation ceremony. As our chapter at Sheridan High School comes to an end, we ask you to watch over us as we venture out into a new world. This next pathway may be difficult for us to understand, but we ask you to guide us and help us honor your name. Lord, I pray that you receive all the glory for all the great things that happen throughout our lives. We also ask that our lives moving forward reflect faith, hope, and love. Again, we say a prayer of thankfulness for everything you do for us and help us look to you in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.